Hi, everybody. Welcome to this presentation. My name is Darren Galka. I'm a senior executive director here at Xperia Financial with my wife, Stephanie. And uh, we have seen just incredible growth, incredible opportunity with this company. And so my role in this presentation is to give you uh, two sides to our story. The first part is going to be, of course, what we do for families, what we do in the financial services world to help people achieve financial independence, to help them put themselves in a better spot financially. And for almost everybody watching that part, there's something there that would apply to most families. And one thing I do love about this amazing industry is that everybody basically needs what we do. It's not like you're selling RVs or boats or large homes or vacation properties. Not everybody will want to buy those, but in our lifetime, when it comes to protecting your family or putting money away for retirement or for your children, uh, or to pay down debt, that all that all affects everybody. And so I'm going to share that first part with you. And the second part may not be for everybody, but it's the opportunity to be in this industry, to take the valuable knowledge that you've learned personally and apply it in your own situation, and then also teach others and, of course, get the rewards of this amazing industry. So let's jump in and get started. So we are an MGA, uh, which is a fancy terminology uh, for a broker dealer. So MGA stands for Managing General Agency. And uh, our company originated in Canada and Guelph, Ontario. We're now 1,700 advisors strong across Canada and the States now. Uh, and we were you know, born in Canada, but now we've uh, gone across the border. We now have an office in Buffalo, New York, and we're seeing rapid expansion across the States as well. So it's a very, very exciting time for our company and a very exciting time for not only our clients, but also our agents and our agency owners to grow and build a successful business here at Experior. As you can see here, um, you know, we've got a lot of top product partners and this page adds a lot of credibility to our company because these are multi-billion dollar companies, most of them, and they pick and choose who they partner with, who they want as an MGA representing their products and services. So uh, when you look at some of these names, of course, you see some of the big brand names on here. And we have the pleasure of being able to broker out our services for our clients. And that's why many times over, we're able to go and find a better solution for our clients at a better price. And that's the benefit of being a broker. And so it's nice having these brand name companies representing uh, uh, us as well as us representing them because they put their trust and faith in our firm now uh, after many, many years of being in business and growing a very large business with many of these companies. And so we get that ability to broker out for our clients. That's a win, win, win all around. You know, our, our company wins, obviously our agents win, the clients win, and these firms win as well. So it's a great partnership to have with these amazing companies. Uh, across Canada. So what is our mission statement? Our mission statement is building financial foundations for families to empower them today and leave a legacy for tomorrow. And I think legacy is a big word these days. You know, a lot of people don't think past the, the next day or think past yesterday. And, you know, and when you think about your family and your legacy, what does that mean to people? What does a legacy mean to people today? You know, what are you leaving behind? Are you leaving behind debt and, and, uh, and, and, you know, uh, a lack of uh, financial prowess, or are you building something today for the future? And so, you know, when my wife and I first um, were able to learn about this industry and get knowledge and train in it, man, what a difference it made for us. And, you know, my story very quickly, uh, when I came to this industry, I had some bad luck. I had racked up a lot of credit card debt. I started this industry in massive credit card debt, over $100,000. I was able to, because this industry completely changed my life financially, and eventually over the next two and a half years, pay that debt completely off and put myself on a much better financial track. And then, of course, I was able to apply that knowledge to go help others and develop a significant business from this industry. And so I love our mission statement. I believe in it. And it's something that you can get behind and feel good about by helping people to leave that legacy. But I'm going to also talk about the legacy for our advisors as well tonight. All right, financial confusion. If you look at this information here, you know, as this starts to cycle around, uh, this is the financial confusion everybody sees. And so when you look at all this information, what is the right retirement? What is, you know, do I choose TFSA, RSP? What do I do about my taxes? I know how much life insurance should I have or do I need it? Or, you know, how much and where should I get it? And so all these questions, mortgages, RESPs for kids, do I refinance? Should I rent or buy? You know, how do I structure my finances? Uh, this is the biggest uh, challenges people have today. And so what we love to do is to be able to help people get through this confusion. And so there's three reasons why people fail financially that we found. The first one is no education. Why aren't schools teaching this? Why don't universities have courses on it? Why is it not something that's mandatory for our young people, the, the kids today? And you know, most of us get our first paycheck and we look at it and you, you know, turn it over, there's no instructions on the check. 
what to do with it, how much to save. We're told to save 10%, but that's if you read some of the great books out there or your family is pretty savvy, they've got an advisor advising them. So education is a first step, I think, to greatness in dealing with your money and financial affairs. The second one is no plan. Without an education, how can you plan? You know, if you don't know how to plan a vacation or a trip, how could you actually plan one for your family? You know, so what do people do? They went to, historically, they went to a travel broker or travel advisor and got them to help them. So what do we do for our finances today? A lot of us left up to our own demise will end up failing financially uh, many times over because we don't have that financial proudness. The last one is a coach. You know, if you look at the greatest athletes in the world, they all have coaches. You know, having a good coach helping you with your finances is such a valuable, valuable process because they can guide you along without having the risk of making some fatal mistakes along the way. You know, today, money we find is so tight with families that just one little financial mishap can put them on the street or could put them in harm's way financially. So we don't want that to happen to good people out there. So we, these three things are something we pride ourselves in and providing those areas for people to get ahead financially. So let's talk about some of these areas that, you know, people struggle with debt and savings. You know, today our debt rate is astronomical. I've just seen the recent stat. It's now over a hundred billion um, to all these different, you know, credit card companies. And because of the pandemic, it's gotten worse, not better. And of course, look at the savings rate. It's plummeted because there's so much pressure on families today. And, you know, what is the best way to do this? And what's the best way to pay off debt? You know, there's ways to pay off debt that can pay it off way faster if you just know how to do it. Problem is, most of us never get that financial knowledge or education. So we deal with this area. You know, when you look at the rest of investing and, you know, how much money do you need for retirement? You know, it's crazy right now when you look at people who are looking to get retired or have, be able to retire one day. Uh, when you look at the percentage of people who have less than 100,000 retirement, it's 74%. That's incredible to think. And you think about this for one moment. What does your lifestyle cost you to live today? 30, 40, 50, 60,000 a year today? How much will $100,000 last you in retirement if you need to spend 50 grand a year to, today to live? That won't even last you maybe one year in retirement because of the inflation factor. So it's, it's, it's today more essential than ever that people are more prepared financially than ever, ever before. And we're seeing this come alive through stats after stats. And so helping people invest wisely is a part of our process. How about protection? We've seen this unfortunate thing too many times. If a family member passed away unexpectedly, what would happen to the family? You know, we see this all the time, the GoFundMe pages. That is not a financial protection. That is not a preparedness, okay? You can't be relying on somebody else to go fund your family's mishap. You know, that's not a way to protect your family. The way to properly protect your family is a life insurance policy. It takes place of that income. It's the one that replaces that income for, for the rest of uh, the, the need of that family. And so that's one area that we deal with, uh, obviously, and uh, make sure families are protected. So is there a need for what we do? Obviously, there's a big need for what we do. And what we end up doing is simplifying the complicated things about money and finance with education. So let's talk a bit about financial education. What is your FIN number? You know, what is FIN number, by the way? And how much do you need in retirement. So the FIN number is a total amount of money you would need to have put away by retirement to live comfortably. Well, if you know what the final number is, do you know how to get there? Do you know how much to start putting away today? You know, so do you know your FIN number? Have you never heard of it before? And it's shocking to me how many people say, Darren, I've, I've never heard of my FIN number before. I've, what is it? You know, how does it work or what does it do? And so when you look at the need for the FIN number, it's massive today. And so it'll depend on your income today and your lifestyle and retirement. So how important is this number to know? I feel it's one of the most important numbers for you to know financially for the rest of your life. And so the question is, would it be good to find out sooner than later what your FIN number is? This is one of the services we provide to all our clients. It's one of the most fascinating things that when we show people what their FIN number is, it changes their whole financial game. So let's take a look at another education part called the rule of 72. The rule of 72 is a simple rule that teaches how money works. When you look at the rate of return of your investments and you divide it into 72, what it basically tells you is the number of years it's going to take for your money to double. So obviously, the higher the rate of return, the better. You would not believe how many people don't even pay attention to what they're getting on the rate of return. And it's cost them hundreds of thousands, if not 
millions of dollars by retirement. So let's take a, a look at this. So the rule of 72. The first part, Albert Einstein called this the eighth wonder of the world. And when you look at 4% versus other rates of return, so 4% divides into 72 exactly 18 times. So it takes 18 years for money to double at 4%. 10 grand today would double to 20 and then to 40,000. You might think to yourself, hey, not bad, uh, not a bad place to go. If you look at uh, banks and billion dollar institutions, they want to stick you into one, 2% GICs and they take that money and they give it to professional money managers and they grow the money at eight, 10, 12%. They make fortunes, which you'll see here. So if you instead got better advice or better knowledge, and let's say you could get six or maybe 8% return. Take a look at 8%, for example. 8% is only double the 4%. So you would think that the 40 grand you got over here at 4%, would double to 80 because it's only double the rate of return. However, this is the power of compound interest. With compound interest at 8%, your money is doubling twice as fast. So that means your 10,000 goes to 20, 40, 80, and doubles again to 160,000. Check out 12%. People always say to me, well, Darren, where do you get 12% these days? That's a big number. There are a lot of places over the last 10, 15 years that have averaged that kind of return. So imagine if your money was now doubling every six years. Your money now is growing to 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, 320, and another doubling is 640,000. Imagine if both family members did this together and you could amass over a million dollars. That are That's the kind of fin number people need to be having today to be able to really retire with dignity and not have to worry about money stress. Here's the crazy thing. We give our money away to banks and credit unions and institutions. They want to give us a whopping, what, half a percent in our savings account, one, two percent GIC rate. Nobody will become financially independent ever in a lifetime unless you have millions to begin with. But people that have millions to begin with would never give it away at one, two percent. So why should you? I encourage you to understand this rule and talk to the person that have you watch this video and get some knowledge on this and help yourself become more financially savvy. Now let's talk about your financial house. Let's tie the FIN number into this. Now, part of every, you know, building a, a house, for example, the basis of a house is the foundation. So when it comes to a financial house, your foundation is really insurance. So when you look at the, the, the protecting of your income, if you lose your income tomorrow for three months, six months, a year, or if God forbid, you were to pass away early, your family, your children, who were at whatever age they are, let's say children are five years old, they'd be relying on that income probably for another 15 years to come into that household. So one thing that can take down a financial house very quickly is any loss of income. So that's why we say the foundation of any financial house is your insurance protection. Now let's dig into the rest of this. Debt. We all know debt's a killer. Um, you know, But when it comes to building wealth, a lot of people want to own real estate. So part of owning real estate is having a mortgage and also protecting that mortgage against a mishap of your health, whether it's a sickness, an injury, or, you know, again, a, a passing too early. So we have all these solutions to help you get the best rates on a mortgage, the best insurance protection to protect that debt, and also how to save money on the debt you might currently have. So saving money on debt is a major part of our process. The second area, of course, is the traditional RRSPs. You get a tax session going in, gross tax deferred, but... As you can see here, the red flag for RSPs is if you don't manage them properly, you're going to pay 100% tax on the way out. This is a deadly, deadly game if you don't understand it. So we show families different strategies outside of RSPs in case they need to look at diversification. And why would you do that? Because of the tax implication. So a lot of families that get educated find out about something called open or non-registered. This is an area where you could get a potential tax deduction by using other people's money to invest. That money would grow, can, can grow tax deferred. It has capital gains tax at the end, which in essence makes it only half taxable. So when you look at these two areas, that's not a bad, you know, this is a little bit better than full tax of an RSP. Now, let me share with you two other areas that are probably the least understood or least utilized by most people when it comes to their financial plan. First, of course, is the traditional TFSAs. These were designed, by the way, when, when the government realized and people realized that it didn't make sense for lower income earners to put money into RRSPs because, yeah, they got a tax deduction, but it really didn't do anything for them because their income wasn't that high in the first place. 
Now, tax-free savings has several advantages. Obviously, the disadvantage is no tax break going in. You can stuff up to six grand a year into the TFSA. It grows tax-free, comes out tax-free. So can you imagine getting started with this sooner than later? So again, this is another vehicle that we need to consider in our arsenal of products. Now, some people don't have a choice. They have a pension at work, they're funding it, and they're getting free money from their for employer. So that's still a great strategy. If you're getting money with an RSP and you're getting a match with your employer, that's great. But TFSA is another valuable tool in your financial arsenal that you need to consider. But a lot of people always ask me, Darren, should I buy an RSP or a TFSA? Which one's better? Depends on the situation, depends on the person. So we help you analyze that. The last one is the insurance vehicle. Now there's the simple term insurance, super cheap, easy, easy uh, um, uh, to understand. Um, but then there's the other avenue, which very few people have ever heard about, which is the permanent insurance tax sheltered programs. And so if you never had uh, financial advisors or never sat down with somebody, you'd probably never hear about this. The reason most people do not understand insurance is because it's not sold in their bank. Now, banks are trying to get into the insurance game and some banks have insurance, but they can't do it inside the bank. They can only do credit insurance, okay? So most people never hear about the other wealth vehicle called permanent insurance. With permanent insurance, what does that mean? Well, you don't get a tax deduction just like, an R, uh, just like a TFSA, but it does have tax deferred growth. You can access the money with a way to access it tax-free, and then you can pass it on tax-free to your estate but you do have to qualify. So it's not for everybody if you can't qualify, but the big benefit is you do have a zero taxation. If you access it the right way, there's zero tax and you can pass it on tax-free to your beneficiaries. And so when you look at this uh, example here of your financial house, would it make sense to have more of your wealth on the left side in the taxable areas or on the right side? Well, everybody knows the answer. It's always on the right side, but how do you properly prepare this? So what do we do? How do we help families navigate this financial house situation? Well, we have something called an EFA analysis tool where we you know, are able to create a one-stop solution to simplify these complicated areas, giving you a roadmap to follow. So when you do an EFA with us, what happens is it's a no cost, no obligation review of your finances. So our job, by the way, the only way we do get paid is that we provide a proper solution that you go, wow, that's awesome, that's great, it's saving money, save me debt, put me in a better spot financially. It's better for my investments, better for our family, children's education, children's insurances, whatever it is that you're looking for, then we can provide that solution. It's a fabulous, fabulous tool. Every family I've ever done an EFA for comes back blown away. They come back going, wow, Darren, this is amazing. And what we do every year upon our annual reviews is we look at where you were at a year ago and where you are now. And so it's a wonderful process that is really changing the game of this industry. And what a difference maker it makes when you have a roadmap and you're on track financially. So imagine the peace of mind this would provide. Just imagine having all these things under your control rather than having somebody else have their thumb on you financially, having the debt companies have their thumb on you, the insurance companies, you know, charging too much for insurance or the, you know, um, investment companies not putting you in the right areas. So again, having this under your control is so valuable. Now I want to ask you, all a question, who needs what we do? Everybody out there needs what we do. This is the power of this process. This is the power of our business, okay? So now I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. I'm gonna challenge you just to stay with me. Now, if this is not for you, I understand, but I want you to stay with me because you might know somebody looking to take what they've learned and take the good information they've gathered here and apply it in their situation and maybe teach others or somebody might be looking for a second stream of income, a way to protect uh, against uh, you know, the job situation, the great resignation going on right now. There's lots of opportunities in our industry right now. We are growing like crazy to meet the growing demand of our industry, and we don't have enough advisors to do it. So let's talk now about the opportunity. And again, maybe for you, maybe for somebody you know. I'll just share this quickly about my wife and I, when we first saw this opportunity, um, to work with Xperia, you know, we just we just knew it was going to be a great fit with the leadership, the uh, founders of this company, the the vision they had to grow and build uh, a billion dollar company across North America, and we knew it was going to be a great fit for us. We never looked back, and now three and a half years later, it's just been a dream business for us. But the key for us now is helping others achieve their goals and dreams. Everybody always asks these questions, man. I wish I could 
have a nice home, get my dream car, go on some nice vacations, have some toys, um, get rid of my debt once and for all. You know, take time and have fun with the kids, whether it's indoors or outdoors and playing around and having good times. Maybe it's taking care of your, your uh, you know, parents one day down the road or your grandparents. You know, at the end of the day, what is everybody looking for these days? They're looking for a way to take care of, if it's education savings, their family, their uh, situation. But most people today we find are looking for this word. They're just looking for freedom. You know, a job generally for most people is just over broke. You know, most people that, that hold down jobs today, they're struggling to make ends meet. They're trying to bring in some extra money. Some of them are going back to school. They're retooling. They're, you know, re-educating themselves. Well, what about an industry that's one of the highest paid industries in the entire world that you could learn by learning to do it for yourself first? And then when you do it for yourself with your advisor's help, then you can start to teach others. And so I'm going to transition now into this opportunity and ask you a question. What about extra income? What an extra, what would an extra two, three grand a month do for you and your family? You know, these are some things that many people told us that they would want to do and want to take care of. And so again, we find that even just a thousand dollars a month extra income coming in on a very, very part-time limited basis would make a massive difference for people and their families. So I love the fact that we can make such a difference for people. And it's really on a limited time basis. We do get paid very well for what we do, by the way. Our industry happens to be one of the highest paying industries in the world. So the question always is, well, Darren, can, well, can I make money with this really? Like, is this really an area that I could make money? Well, let me share with you what a lot of our people do to begin with is they start part-time. They twin their career. And why would they do that? Because if you just go help a few families in a month on a very part-time basis, that two grand a month would be 2,400 uh, to maybe 36, you know, 24,000 to 36,000 on an annual basis. And you have a trainer with you every step of the way. You earn while you learn and you get to go at your own pace. You know, we, that's why we've been able to bring so many people into the industry because they can start part-time, no risk, keep your job, keep your income, you know, learn this on a part-time basis, evenings, weekends, off hours. It's a wonderful, wonderful career. And so what ends up happening to most people is when they start to figure this industry and this career out, they start to increase their income. They start to see more and more income coming in. And guess what? They start to replace their full-time income. Now they have a great choice to make. What a great choice, right? I mean, you had the choice to be, you know, be able to go full time into your own business where you control your time, control your efforts, control your income. You know, if you go to your boss tomorrow and say, hey, boss, I want to work more hours and make more money. The boss might say to you, I don't have more hours, you know, Darren, I can't give you more time. I got other people too that would want the same thing. I can't give you more income either. I, I'm, I'm maxed out as a business owner. I'm, you know, I got to make my bottom line too. And so this career is one of those few careers you can make as much as you want and put your time into it. What I love about this industry is equal opportunity for everybody. It doesn't matter your race, religion, background, color, education, you know, et cetera. You work hard here. You make the money you deserve to make. And here's the great thing, you know, being able to have the career change option. Now, we've got some people who love their career. They'll never leave it. They'll, they'll keep doing it forever. But that residual income from this industry is something that most people don't have in jobs today. Residual income means that when you stop the work today, all the business you have currently in place in, in Canada continues to pay you residual income. How powerful is that? And not only is that powerful, you own your clients and industry, that, and it actually has a price tag attached to your clientele book of business. Imagine building something. You know, I know many people with their employment who build books of business for their bosses and their company owners. And they walked away when they, they stopped employment there or they were let go. That book of business stayed there. All that customer service, all that those people they helped uh, take care of and work with or brought to the company stays with the company. And unfortunately, in our industry, there's some companies that do that too. They keep your clients. Like That's crazy to me. There's a few companies out there that still do that, which is just so archaic and profound. I don't even understand it. But you own your clients here from day one. What an amazing concept. Now, I'm going to go on to the, onto the higher scale now because some people have a big vision to make a multi six figure, even a million dollar income in this industry. And we have people right now on track to cross over the million dollar mark. We have many people who are breaking the six figure quarter million and half million dollar mark today in our company because they built what's called a financial agency. The best way I can describe this, you know, I have brothers in, in, in real estate, they're both with Remax. And so, so several times over, 
they were asked, why don't you own an agency? Why don't you teach others? And they just didn't have the, the desire to do that. So they just stayed as agents. Nothing wrong with that. However, if you want to build more income, then you could own your own financial services agency and recruit and train as many people as you'd like to build your agency. Because really, what are you doing? You're increasing your distribution. You know, what does McDonald's do? They open up at McDonald's in all the new areas and big centers and cities and growing towns that once a town becomes a city, McDonald's opens up a store. Why? It's called distribution. So we are no different. We've got the ability to grow our own agency and also build and promote other agency owners. And the company has a program where you can receive a lifetime income for helping the company build those agencies right across North America. So, you know, many people have always dreamed about becoming a business owner, but could you imagine having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to do that? You know, our industry, you can literally start our industry for hundreds of dollars. Unbelievable, right? Just hundreds of dollars to start our industry compared to owning a franchise, a storefront, you know, even to buy a, a vehicle to go own a business or if you're in the welding field or, you know, construction or, you know, trades business, man, like a, a nice vehicle these days, 40, 50 grand. I mean, just that alone is an investment to get in when our industry is a few hundred dollars to get started. Are you kidding me? It's the most amazing industry on the planet. Now, the other big thing when you look at this is, remember we talked about this, you know, a lot of people are not prepared as we just talked about. So what could you do to play catch up? You could use this industry to catch up and put that extra income to work to build your wealth faster. So, so many people are seeing this as a way to really you know, shore up their retirement or even retire much sooner because of our higher income earning potential of our industry. Now, when you look at residual income, you know, imagine building a business with residual income. So when you take a look at even a thousand dollars or a couple thousand dollars, you know, you have to have, you know, to make a thousand dollars of residual income monthly, you have to have a quarter million roughly put away in the bank or almost a half a million to give you a $2,000 a month income. You know, and you can imagine if you could build that income in just a couple of years of residual, that's incredible. So a lot of people are looking at the, at the investment side going, wow, it's going to take me a long time to build it up. What if, Darren, if I could build a $5,000 residual? A $5,000 residual in our industry is not uncommon to do that in the first two years of our, of our business. Well, in the next, you know, few years, you know, could you amass $1.2 million in investments? Maybe not likely, right? Not that fast. But imagine if you could build a residual income business that could pay you $5,000 a month the rest of your life. That's what we're talking about with our industry. Now, let's just take it on a bigger scale. What about a 10 grand a month income, 120,000 a year? That's equivalent to having saved up $2.4 million. I don't know about you, but I love the idea of having a 10,000 residual is equivalent to 2.4 million and doing that in the next five years, maybe six, seven years, whatever it takes. Would you be upset if it took you five years, seven years, eight years? You know, most people will work a 40 to 45 year career and never amass $2.4 million. So we find this is one of those amazing industries that allows you to do that. Now let's take it on a bigger scale. What about $20,000 a month? That's the equivalent of having $4.8 million saved up. Now, I don't know about you, but I love the idea of two things now. What about this? What about if you come into this industry and you learn this for the next few years, four, five, six, seven years later, not only do you amass a five, 10, maybe $20,000 monthly residual, but you've also invested wisely and you also build up on the right side, the money as well. Could you imagine the family legacy you'd leave behind? You would change your course of family history forever by being able to leave that kind of residual income that kind of business behind, that kind of wealth behind for the future generations, or you could just enjoy it and spend it all in your lifetime. But our business has a residual that you could pass on to family and will it over to your beneficiary and that income would last for in, in perpetuity. So it's an amazing, amazing concept. And this is the legacy ownership program that all of our advisors have access to. So this program is very unique in that if you want to retire early from this industry or retire from this company, or you were disabled, or God forbid you passed away, or in a, if, if your children were involved with you in the business, you could pass this business on, this income could outlast even you. And so we have a, a multi-tiered legacy ownership program that each step of the way as you qualify, you get more and more residual for lifetime. 
And so what an amazing opportunity to be in a company that offers that. There's very few, if any, companies that I'm aware of in this industry that offer this type of program today. And we are one of the pioneers of offering this to you and your family. So again, it's an added feature to, to you know, have as, as another opportunity for this business. And so the biggest question people have is, can I do this? You know, Darren, there's a lot of knowledge you need to get, obviously. You have to learn about this industry and learn a lot of stuff. And how do I market myself? Well, here's a beautiful thing. Again, because you can start part-time, no experience required. We have nonstop webinar trainings, product knowledge groups, personal and business development classes, online licensing courses, 24-7 video library, hands-on training. All of this is provided as part of the package you get. And for minimal, like minimal amounts, like we're talking 30, 40 bucks a month, you can access all this information and have that as part of your opportunity and part of your business. But more importantly than that is the hands-on training. You know, what would you pay to have a hands-on person beside you every step of the way? You know, those are called business coaches and mentors. Last time I checked, they, they'll, they'll run you five grand a month, 10 grand a month, some of the big ones. And uh, you don't have that here. You don't have that cost here. You have people that are willing to help and train and coach you because you'd be part of their agency and they have an incentive to help you become successful. So you will learn both sides of our business very, very well. I want to show this slide because these are all our six-figure income earners. And I love uh, dealing with all the people here and helping them achieve their successes. So this is just our own agencies, you know, having uh, now 18 different ring earners and people uh, achieving successes and making money is just incredible to me. I love the fact we have so many people doing so well in our company and making money, but I want you to pay attention to this. Look at the background of all these people. Do they all look like you look at them and go, oh, well, I can see why these people are successful. I mean, look at them. Look at how good looking they are. Look at how young they are. Look at how experienced they are. Look at where they came from. Here's my point. There's nobody here that came from the financial services world. We don't have a program to bring people from colleges and universities into our industry. So we have to go find them in this world today. And so this is why we have a, a model we can grow and build agencies because that's the only way we can find people to come work with us is by locating good people who want to make a difference in their lives and go have the opportunity to maybe go and become a six-figure earner in our field and make more money than they've been making in their past career. So we love this opportunity. We love seeing that it's equal opportunity for everybody from every kind of walk or background or you know previous careers. It doesn't matter to us. What matters is your desire and willingness to win. So in the last few slides here, I just want to kind of wrap this up and just ask a few questions here. You know, what would it take to, you know, to make a, a change or a lifestyle change for you? So when you think about your job or your business today and you think about the next five years, where will you be financially in three to five years from now? If you are an employee today, I always, I always challenge people, take a look around you, go to your company tomorrow. When you go to work tomorrow, look around, or if you're on Zoom, look around you and look at people who've been there three, five, 10 years longer than you. Are they living a dream lifestyle? Are they making the kind of money they dreamed of making? And if the answer is no, maybe you need, to, you need to consider a few things. So ask yourself this question. If you keep doing what you're doing today, where will you be in that three to five years with your current job or business? That's a very important question to ask. So if you don't see yourself becoming wildly successful or owning your own company or having your own income and setting your own hours, having the freedom to, to work from home and things like that, maybe, you know, you have an option to, to, to decide. First is you continue doing what you're doing. Maybe you have to give up on your dreams, right? Or I'm going to challenge you to grow and make a change. And this is what we see every day in our business of Experior is people challenging themselves to grow and make a change. I'm going to challenge you today to grow and make that change for yourself and for your family and go create that legacy that you were put on this planet to go create. I don't believe, by the way, people are put on the planet to be average and ordinary. I believe our creator had greatness in, our, in mind. He had um, a desire to see people go and become who they're destined to become and become great at something and great at a business and be a family provider, be someone that gives back and gives back to this world. It's so in need, by the way, of people to give back and do greater things than what we're seeing going on today in this world. And so that could be you. And so as I wrap this up, the, the options and choices that come apparent to, to all of us are that we need to decide on is, you know, where do you want to end up? And so what choices do you have? The first one, obviously, is the first part of our presentation. Learn how our concepts and strategies could work in your own situation. You have nothing to lose, everything to gain. 
and could start to create more wealth for you and your family by dealing with your EFA and find out exactly what concepts and strategies you may be missing, might need to incorporate, and might not even have any clue you could be utilizing today. But by sitting down and doing an EFA, that will all become apparent to you. The second part is, hey, Darren, you know what? I love this. I do want to get my EFA done. I mean, that's a no-brainer. It's no cost, no obligation. If it works for you and it's going to make your family uh, better off by doing things, then you'll do it, obviously. But, you know, the second is, hey, Darren, what about this part-time program? I love the idea of building a second income stream, having a backup plan, you know, preparing for the next, you know, uh, pandemic that comes our way, you know, or, and, I, and if I could gain that in-depth financial knowledge, not only is going to help me for the rest of my life, but I could take that knowledge and then show others how to do it. And that's the beauty of what we do is just taking what you know, and then just sharing it and showing it with others. And then the last, uh, the, the other part is, of course, grow that business income to match your goals and dreams. Well, obviously the third choice, which is the ultimate one, if you had a button, if you could just push the screen here and click the green button, that's the ultimate is both. And so at the end of the day, which one fits for you? So if you had to pick between one, two, or three, where would you, where would you fall today? Would you be three? Would you be a two? Would you be a one? So, you know, for my wife and I, it was, it was definitely number three, you know? And so what I'd like you to do is let the person know who shared this with you. Hey man, I'm, I'm a one, I'm a two, or I'm a three. Just let them know what you think you would like to see and then sit down and get all your questions answered. There's no, uh, you know, harm in finding out more, asking lots of questions, find out about your EFA, how that would work. And when you do that, of course, it'll set the stage for you and your family to create that future legacy that I think most people crave, but most people don't know where to go to do it. And so we are one of those fantastic industries that's one of the highest paid out there that's allowing people to kind of fulfill their goals and dreams through an industry that not only helps them build a residual income, but also helps them build their financial FIN number and grow their assets so they have both working for them a successful business and a successful investment portfolio, as well as a good financial, a very solid uh, financial plan behind them. So with that, I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this. And, um, and I encourage you to take action. Take an action step, get back to the person that shared this with you, and get on track financially to change your life forever for the rest of your life. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome, awesome uh, day or evening, whatever time of day it is you watch this. Take care.